Welcome to lesson six, where we're going to learn to read some more notes in the treble clef. Previously, we've learned to read the notes G, F, and A. Today, we're going to learn to read a note that's lower than F, and that note is E. We're also going to learn to read a note lower than E, and that note is D. And we're going to learn to read a note one note lower than D, and that note requires its own line in order for us to locate it, we call this little line a ledger line. And it's a short line that's drawn outside of the regular staff lines. And it just helps us to locate the note and see that it is indeed a neighbor of this previous space note. So the three new notes that we're going to learn today are E, D, and C. Let's just compare these notes to the note G. This was the G we learned that comes from treble clef G and it's on the second line. And now looking at the next note here, E, we can see that the E is on a line that is one line lower than the line for G. Now I'm playing these two notes at the same time, G and E. You can see I'm skipping over F. So beginning on this bottom line, E, I can step down to D, and then step down again to C. So let's review each of these notes in turn. Let's begin with the note E, and we'll play four E's. E, 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 E. We could move this note down, and we could play four D's. D, 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 D. And we could move down and add some C's at the end of our line. Let's try this. E, D, C, C. All right, we're ready to try our exercise. So let's have a look at the, at the sheet music. And notice in the fourth measure, we're going to be moving our fifth finger up to the note G. And it's going to play down from G to F. So prepare yourself to, to notice that as it comes up. And also at the end of the first line, notice some of uh, the last two measures have notes in them that do not have a stick and they're not colored in. These are called whole notes and they hold for four beats and they count for four beats in 4-4 uh, four, four time. So here we go from the beginning. E, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. D, F, E, D, C. Hold, three, four. C, hold, three, four. G, hold, three, four. F, hold, three, four. E, hold, three, four. D, two, three, four. And C, two, three, four. Very good. Practice that until you can play it on a steady beat and until you can recognize each new note by its own name. Also, please recopy the notes from Lesson 6, either on your worksheet or on some blank staff paper of your own.